to my channel it is Brittany today I have another synthetic wig review for you guys today's video is brought to you by hair so fly before I get started I wanted to shout out my premiere squad shout out to them for interacting with me and chatting with me right now um, if you want to be a part of premiere squad make sure you are subscribed to my channel Turn your notifications so you guys will be notified um, every time I premiere a video. We can watch this video together in live chat with me and my other subscribers. It's a lot of fun. I really enjoy premiering my videos. So um, do that if you want to be a part of Premiere Squad. Today I requested um, another Dashley unit from Sensational. And if you don't know anything about the Dashley line from Sensational, they are like um, like everyday styles there it says they are the fast fashion it's fast fashion meets hair these are gonna be wigs that are easy to wear um, and don't require a lot of you know effort with styling and stuff all right so the wig that I am reviewing is gonna be um, lace unit 5 and I have it in the color t2 copper so this is what she looks like on the stock card here. She looks very pretty. Now I assumed that this was like one of those wigs that didn't come with lace, but this wig actually did come with lace to cut. I guess I'm getting it confused with like Altre's daily wig collection because those actually don't come with any lace to cut. So this has a deep center part. So this is meant for a center part. I know a lot of people don't like middle parts, but Lately I've been like gra gravitating more to middle part styles. Um, so this is supposed to be a middle part. And it comes with baby hairs. And it is curling iron safe from 350 to 400 degrees. Here is what Lace Unit 5 looks like. Now of course it's fall so I was like why not pick up a color that's like this. And it's super long. And so here you have the lace around the perimeter. This is what the parting space looks like. You have a comb on the right and left side, a comb in the back as well as adjustable straps. Now I'm just going to try it on and see what it's looking like. Alright, so this is what she looks like just fresh out the pack. I'm going to brush her out. To me, she has a, well, she's tangling. To me, she has a kind of a silky texture to me. I'm going to have to tweeze this part and fix it up a little bit. So I'm just going to pull some, some hairs out of the parting space, but I don't know if I like this, like, just putting it on my head it just doesn't do it for me. But it does have dark roots. Let's see how far they go. Well, at least this one has dark roots. It looks like it stops at the ear area. No, it looks like it's throughout, so that's pretty cool. But let me fix up this part and I'll be back. and I have um, just put powder in the part. Well, I tweezed the part and then I, I pulled hairs from the part and then I put powder in the part and then I did it a little bit too wide so I put a little bit of matte black eyeshadow around the edges just to slim it up a bit. So, all right, so I took pictures after I did all that and I, off the bat, I think this particular color, the T2 slash copper, is beautiful. I really like how it looks on me. Um, this is my second time trying this color from Sensational. I tried it with Kiari and I thought it was beautiful. Now, I'm going to have to bring that out for fall. I'm going to have to do it because I feel like this color just is beautiful. Um, the wig itself, I am not like going crazy over it. Now I just reviewed Kylo a few weeks ago and that was by It's a Wig and it was a, it was kind of a orangey color but it had that streak in the front that was 
like a lighter orange and then I added a dark root to it. That wig was pretty but I, I just sold it in my wig sale because I was like I don't know if I'm going to be wearing it like that. Um, so this one is, it's okay. Um, the cap size fits pretty well. I'm going to say it's like a medium size cap. It's very comfortable to me. I do have on a wig grip um, for just added security because this is a lace front wig. I didn't glue it down or anything. I don't have any adhesives with this. I just have my wig grip underneath. As far as the length goes, this is, let's see. I'm gonna say my belly button is like right here. I'm gonna say this is about, I don't know, like 24 inches. It's pretty long actually. And this is what it looks like in the back. So it looks like from the back. Now, huge con is the tangling. Um, I've been wearing synthetic wigs for a long time, and I know the nature of synthetics. The nature of synthetic wigs is that they tangle and they shed. Now, some of those things you run into a few days into wearing them. This one was tangling as soon as I put it on my head, like as soon as I got it out the pack. So that to me is a big con. Um, yeah, it's just, it's tangling a lot. And I know some synthetic wigs that they don't tangle like the first day, but then a couple days later they do. This one is tangling immediately. So that's a big con. Um, as I was taking pictures of it in natural lighting, I do feel like it has a little bit of shine to it. It's nothing crazy, but it does have a little bit of shine to it. The ends on this wig are blunt. They're kind of just like straight across. So, I mean, I'm not saying that's a, a con or anything. I'm just letting you guys know that. Um, it is a dead center part. So if you would have to be looking for a center part because I know a lot of people don't like center parts. Oh, also, I did change my lip color. I love ColourPop's Limbo and I've been wearing it for five years. Or is it four? Yeah, I've been wearing Limbo like for five years um, but lately I haven't been liking super dark lips on me like super dark lips so I decided to tone it down with like several different things I use Milani's matte innocence and then I put colored rains sugar on top of it and then a little bit of concealer uh, with my nudes with a lot of my nude lip looks that I've been doing lately I mix in concealer so I toned it down and it the overall look goes better with the wig to me than that really dark brown I'm wearing a wig as a middle part I'm not really worried about the edges and stuff nothing is adhered or anything on the sides um, this wig does come with baby hair so you can you know lay those down if you want it to but I didn't want to make this wig more complicated than it had to be Overall rating for this wig is probably like a, uh, I don't know. I think it's like a, a six and a half. I'm not like going crazy over it. I'm not going to say it's a wig that you should rush out and get because I just don't think that it is. Um, but this color, I need to try this wig a lot more um, on my channel. I've tried it with Audrey by Sensational and Kiari so far. Love the color, but the wig itself is just eh, eh. I would pass on it, but if you're a straight wig lover, you might like this. And this collection is more on the affordable side, so if you are looking for a straight wig that's affordable and um, something with a color like this, this could be a good option for you. And they do have a lot of really nice uh, special colors with this collection. So you guys can see that nice green right there. Um, as far as shedding goes, I did not have that much shedding, even though I did like pull a lot of hairs out of the parting space. It wasn't that bad. Nothing that I need to like tell you guys about. Just, you know, light shedding. More so the issue is with the tangling. That is like crazy. I'll have a direct link in the description box for you guys. Shout out to Hair Self Live for sponsoring this video. And shout out to my Premiere Squad for live chatting with me. I appreciate you guys. I really, really do. You guys are helping grow my channel because of our because of our interactions and everything, and that means a lot to me. And just 
being able to talk to you guys is a lot of fun. So um, if you have not subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe and make sure your notifications are turned on and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.